Have fun with announcements. Try Vokey to deliver your message. Vokey is a free Web 2.0 application that allows you to create an avatar to deliver a message. Of course, you can use Vokey with other elements of your Canvas site. In this short demo, I'm using Vokey with a Canvas announcement. First, I'm going to show you the actual announcement and what it does. Then I'm going to give you a short demonstration of how I created the message. Finally, I will show you a couple of other announcements that I've created to inspire ideas for other applications of Vokey in your class. It is near the end of the quarter and I want to remind my students of what needs to be done to finish the class. I want to remind them that the project is worth more than the extra credit and they should carefully consider where and how they spend their time. I created a short message at Vokey and linked it to an announcement in my course site. Here I'm showing you the announcement. You can see the link to Vokey in the first paragraph links to the discussion and the project check-in that are mentioned in the message. At the bottom of the announcement, I have pasted in the text of the Vokey message. Students who are not able to view the Vokey due to firewall or privacy issues, or who cannot hear the message are able to read the text and not miss any of the announcement. Now I'll show you the actual Vokey. Because I'm using the free version of the Vokey Creator, I'm fairly limited in my selection of avatars. Students often get a laugh out of the avatar because its eyes will follow the mouse around the screen. Only a few students have commented that they think the eye movement is creepy. I click the link to go to the Vokey site. Now I will click the play button in the lower middle of the screen. It may take a few moments for the avatar to begin speaking. We are nearing the end of the quarter. The last homework assignment is due tonight. I played only a portion of the message to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Now let's go to the Vokey site and take a look at how this avatar was created. I have gone to Vokey, signed into my free account, and I'm on the Creator screen for Creator Limited Edition. First I will click on the head icon, which will allow me to choose my character. I've chosen the beach category just to show you that any of the avatars that show the mortarboard in the upper right hand corner are not available in the limited edition. You will need to choose one that does not show the mortarboard. I'm going to Tunes and I will select an avatar from this collection. Once you have selected your avatar, you have the option of changing certain elements of the avatar. I'm going to select the clothing tab and put a different outfit on my avatar. Next, I'm going to select the bling tab and give my avatar a pair of glasses. With this done, I will click close. Now I'll give my avatar a voice. You may choose to record your own voice over the phone or using a microphone. I tend to use text to speech for two reasons. I find it faster and easier and I create a transcript of my message. I will click the icon for text to speech, which is the keyboard T icon. Now I can type in my message. I can select an accent language, and I can select a voice. Once I've made the selections, I can play the message back and determine if I like the voice that I've selected. Greetings. Welcome to the Thanksgiving break. It is very easy to change to another voice. Once you have made these selections, you can click the close icon. If you wish, you can also change the background. Click Close. Then click the Publish icon. Give your scene a name and click Save.
Now you will be able to share your Vokey character. Note that only the options without the green star in the upper right hand corner are available to limited edition subscribers. What I do is copy the URL and paste it into my Canvas object. You can see it pasted here. In this case, I have used an announcement. I have been using Voki for years and enjoy the change of pace that a Voki character brings to an occasional announcement or discussion message. Here are just a couple of examples of, of how I've used Voki in other classes. In the first one, I am welcoming students to a summer class on Web 2.0. I've chosen a summer theme for my avatar. In the second one, I am conveying information to students based on comments that I've received from students in prior courses. The message is a bit more serious, and I've chosen a more conservatively presented avatar. Students in the past classes have commented that modules 6, 8, and... Voki is fun. It adds interest. It's easy to use. And it's free. I hope you enjoy it.